Yeah, a little bit of a crazy game. Uh, you know, we spot them the lead. We battle back, you know, two, three times. But um, this group always sticks with it. Um, the fans gave us a boost. They were fired up today. They were rowdy. They were loud. Um, whenever we got that, that goal, they were there to <clears throat> kind of keep us going. Um, and then once we got the lead, they were they were loud through the end. So um, it's awesome having having them back. It's fun to do it uh, and win that one in front of them. Go ahead, Anthony. Anthony, what do you think about uh, the way your team was battling back and then uh, took care, took advantage of the opportunities when they presented itself? Yeah, I mean, um, special group in, that we have and obviously lots of character, lots of leadership, and uh, we just stuck with it. And obviously the fans gave us a little boost there, every every goal, every every hit, every good shift, every battles that we won. So uh, they're a huge part of our, uh, of our success of the, that first series. And uh, obviously Ilya was really good for us again tonight. Andrew Gross, Newsday. It just uh, to follow up, you know, it, it's the first time in 28 years this franchise has clinched a, a playoff series in this building. And I, I know there's a lot of work still to be done. You know, this isn't the, the end all be all. But what, what was that emotion like as you're coming off the ice, knowing that, you know, in this building you had clinched a series? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. This is, like Bo said, it's a special group, uh, special place, uh, lots of history in this building. There's probably quite a few fans over here tonight um, that, that witnessed the dynasty back in the 80s um, and know what that, that winning, you know, what that feels like. So, um, it, it, like I said, it was, it was fun to get it, get it done tonight in front of them. Um, and it's just one step. We want to try and, you know, make some history of our own here and um, put a nice run together at the quality. Go ahead, Andrew. Okay, we'll go to Arthur Stable, the athletic. Brock, uh, fall down behind, fall behind a couple of times in the first period, but that was probably one of your better first periods of the series. Did you guys feel like it wasn't a game that was going to get away from you? Uh, yeah, I mean, we wanted to come out and put together a good start. I'm sure they were saying the same, try to take the crowd out of it and, and push. Obviously, when you have the lead in the series, uh, trying to push a team out, they're going to come with everything. Um, they did that, they get the early one, but. Um, Ilya, Bo said he, he made some great saves for us today. Timely saves. We we're able to get big goals. Bo gets it tied up. Um, we do it again and then again in the second. So um, it was a crazy game, but yeah, never, never, you know, out of reach or, or no quit in this team. We always try to fight back. Uh, we we're able to do that tonight. Go ahead, Arthur. Oh, uh, just the way that you guys were able to, to counter seemingly in a lot of games. You, you didn't have the lead a ton in this series, but you were never really out of it. Is that just. The mentality you guys carry shift to shift uh, really helped you get through this one. Absolutely, I think uh, it's the mindset that we have. It's the leadership that we have in the room. We um, we know one game's not necessarily going to win the one, one goal is not necessarily going to win the game. So we want to stick with it and stick through our plan. And um, it's playoffs. I mean, there's going to be lows, there's going to be ups, and uh, just gotta uh, fight through it and battle. It doesn't matter if it's a goal or you lose a game or you're, you're down two or whatever it is. I think. Lots of character in this in this room, like like we said, and uh, we just found a way to get it done, and we stuck with it. And yeah, we're uh, looking forward to the next round. Molly Walker, New York Post. This was a pretty tight series all around, but in more than one game, you guys really grind. Molly, can you uh, speak into your Molly? Can you speak into your mic? Just pull it Is forward. Is that better? Can you hear me better? Better, yeah. This was a pretty tight series all around, but in more than one game, you guys just grinded through every lead change, every tie. What does that say about the hunger of this team? Yeah, I think both said it, high character, a uh, resilient group. Um, we know we have guys in here that have been around, a couple guys that have won, know what it takes. Um, there's going to be ups and downs. You're going to be behind. Uh, it's a race to four games. So um, like both said, one play. It isn't going to be make or break. It's kind of how you respond and react to that. And, and you're going to get a moment. You want to take advantage of it and, and kind of turn the tide back in your favor whenever that whenever that chance comes. Um, in this series, we did a good job of that. Goalies made big saves to keep it keep a one goal game or, or tied or um, or when we had the lead. So um, everybody kind of you know taking part and getting it done. Brian Compton, NHL.com. <laughs> Brock, you mentioned the crowd earlier. Is this the most normal you guys have felt as players this whole season? Does it almost feel like a different season after starting everything in, the, in an empty building? Thanks. Yeah, it's, um, it, it feels as close to 
before you know everything kind of went uh, went crazy um with the shutdown and um now yeah it's 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 a little different uh it, it's great to have that atmosphere that energy that boost when you're at home with the with the fans whatever the number may be they're they're rocking they're ready to go um you know we've wanted to to win for them for a long time so it's nice to get them back in the building so they can see it live versus on tv and um we put together a pretty good run last year and now we want to try and do it again and go a little bit further with them Bruce back NBC Brock and Bo you both have had terrific numbers in the playoffs the last two years what is it about the postseason that seems to bring out the best in both of you thank you I think just obviously Bo Bo's a great player Bale is a great player I'm trying to go out there we're trying to contribute offensively be responsible defensively um Playoffs is a different animal. It might not always be your night. Um, we always talk about the depth that we have in here. Different guys can get it done. Different different lines can you know get us momentum or, or win us a game. And um, been fortunate to to play with these guys for quite a while. Have some chemistry and capitalize on some chances. And um, you just try to go out there, like I said, and take a, take advantage of those moments um, and try to be a difference maker. Christian Arnold, New York Hockey Now. Obviously, uh, game five kind of was a, a bit of a wacky performance for you guys. But in a weird way, was it almost uh, a confidence boost to come out of Pittsburgh and win that game and then come in tonight, play the back and forth style that you had tonight, knowing that if you could weather that storm, then this almost seemed like a piece of cake in a, in a sort of speak. Uh, I mean, we all know that uh, game five wasn't really uh, our game, but we it's about finding a way to win. And that's what we did. And. Uh, I can't really look back at what happened in the series. Doesn't matter if you win or you lose. You, you got to look forward. And I thought we did a good job uh, getting ready for the for tonight's game. And obviously, we're that was our storm. I think we didn't. They were going to have a push, obviously, but uh, it was in our building that was um, us to uh, set the pace. And I, I think we did a good job by just sticking with uh, our game plan. And obviously, it paid off in the second period. And um, I think we're on top of our game tonight. It was. Uh, um, Typical Islander, Islander win. Corey Wright, Islanders.com. Brock, you've been here a long time. Uh, to advance past the first round in three straight seasons, what's it just say about the evolution of this group where it almost feels, uh, you know, business as usual at this point? Yeah, um, you know, it's been it's been quite a while, quite the journey, and um, a lot of guys in here that have been around, a couple guys have been here longer than I have. Um, I think it just goes back to this. This is a special place, a special group. Um, Everybody wants to go out there and win and uh, compete for a Stanley Cup um, and raise it. So um, to be seeing some progress and, and getting close and having runs is, uh, you know, it, it's awesome. It's it's fun. Uh, it's a great place to do it. Now um, we're trying to get to get it to go all the way. We'll do one more here in English, Kevin Marr, and then we'll go to Jay Aslan from RDS in French. Go ahead, Kevin. Hey, Brock, the three goals in three minutes, just how great is it to be part of that, considering that really was the thing that turned the tide tonight? Yeah, um, it's nice. We had a couple opportunities, a couple of nice, uh, nice plays off the rush, Bowen Bales, um, obviously a big face off, a goal by Pools. Um, whenever you can kind of get that momentum and ride it and, and turn the game, that's huge, especially in playoffs. Like I said, there's going to be ups and downs. Um, and that one, you know, we, you get up, you get the crowd going, you get some energy, you get a little adrenaline able to kind of ride that and really get a couple more, get the lead. Um, and that was huge. And once we got the lead, um, we got a lot of guys in here that are willing to sacrifice uh, and pay the price to kind of hold it. Last one here, Jay Asson from RDS. Oui, salut Anthony. Ben, premièrement, j'aimerais ça que tu me parles de, euh, du caractère de votre équipe trois fois aujourd'hui. Vous êtes revenu derrière. Puis aussi, j'aimerais ça que tu me parles du rôle de la foule, spécialement en deuxième période. C'est devenu vraiment électrique dans le building. Euh, ça devait faire du bien pour vous autres d'avoir ça derrière vous. Euh, ouais, ben je pense que ça ça résume un peu notre notre identité, notre euh, le leadership qu'on a dans notre euh, dans notre chambre, revenir en arrière avec une, euh, une coupe de fois dans le match, ça a été euh, pas été nécessairement facile, mais on a on a réussi à, à aller gagner momentum, puis euh, la, la foule, je pense qu'on peut pas demander mieux, euh, euh, toute une saison de euh, une année euh, très spéciale de ne pas avoir de fans, un peu euh, des fois c'est dur euh, rentrer dans les matchs. Euh, Pas de foule, pas, pas de, de, de momentum nécessairement, mais je pense qu'ils ont, ont su nous garder dans le match, ils ont su euh, euh, nous donner de l'énergie, puis euh, c'est vraiment le fun de, de retrouver nos fans, puis euh, les voir euh, autant euh, heureux, j'imagine, d'être euh, dans les estrades, puis euh, qui est euh, vraiment fort.